What makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Hmm. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the strategic investment department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. <sighs> the cornerstone which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? <laughs> You question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stonehearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I appreciate it. Unfortunately, your guess is correct. <laughs> similar to that of Klepoth's body. Yeah. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the Ten Stonehearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, granting them an unparalleled radiance. And this golden stone is also known as a topaz, not a venturine. And it belongs to Topaz. Okay, so Topaz is one of the Ten Stone Hearts. So, do you wish to confront him? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. The safest place somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone, more precious than life itself, with a bunch of worthless jewels, disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated, is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with, betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. Learn it, Doctor. 
I am grateful for your help. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. As for the villain, <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. <sighs> Ratio, you wretch. <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Treasure your remaining time and savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. You might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully, uttering nothing but falsehoods, transforming the consecration into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> is this what the Harmony represents? But is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape, or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. Embodiment of harmony, abyss of doom. And here again, with the harmony coercion of something. <sighs> well, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside and bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth? That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. Oh. Wow. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. This meeting isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. What is it now? You... Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world?